I'm Matt. I'm Danielle. And we're excited to share with you a little bit about who we are, what our life is like, and why we're excited to bring a child into our family. In the beginning of 2014, I went with my family to the Galapagos Islands. We did a National Geographic cruise there. And uh, we met on the ship, and we stayed in touch after the trip. And a few months later, when she was out in California visiting her mom, I decided to go visit her and we started dating. And when she told me she was going to volunteer in Africa at an orphanage that summer, I bought a plane ticket. <laughs> Went and joined her there, and um, while there, I asked if she wanted to move all the way across the country to spend more time with me, and <laughs> she said yes. So Matt and I got married at St. Paul's Church. Um, it's right down the street. Um, really beautiful old 1800s church. Uh, we uh, got to, um, first of all, get married with uh, the, the woman who presided over our wedding, Mother Sally, um, is one of our closest friends. So that was really nice. Um, but uh, also his parents got married at the same church. So we got to recreate the post-wedding uh, photograph <laughs> in front of the church of them with their bridesmaids and their, their groomsmen. Born and raised in this town. Uh, it's a small town, it's only about 12,000 people. Uh, when I was young, it was still just a little farming town. Everybody drove right through and over the years, uh, it has stayed small, which has kind of turned it into a uh, tourist destination. I grew up out on my family's ranch outside of town and I'm the oldest of three siblings. My brother and his wife live right down the street with their daughter and my uh, sister lives in LA currently, but my parents still live on the ranch that I grew up on. I work out there part-time when I'm not working at my other family ranch um, <laughs> and help my parents out with their property. Um, but we get together for family gatherings, family dinners uh, every week or so. One thing that this family my family of origin, Matt's family, and our friend family really enjoys is cooking. We are a foodie family. Um, his mother went to cooking school in France with her mom, with Matt's grandma. Um, my mom and grandma taught me to cook Italian food. I would love to teach my kiddo how to cook, just like my mom and grandma did with me. Um, and his mama is a really excellent cook too and his brother's a chef so there's going to be a lot of cooking. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm really excited to become a mama. I, I have a really incredible relationship with my own mom. Um, we in a lot of ways grew up together. Um, she was so supportive and loving and accepting of me all through my childhood. She taught me so much, especially how to be a very strong and independent woman. She taught me the value of education and learning and, st and staying open-minded. Um, she's really one of my biggest heroes. And I hope, to, I hope to be everything she was for me, for my own child. So I am an attorney and a social worker. Uh, I practiced law for a little over a decade in New York City and um, decided I didn't want to do that anymore. So I uh, started volunteering for an awesome organization called uh, Heart Gallery NYC that recruits famous photographers to do these beautiful portrait photography of hard to place foster care children. Um, hard to place because uh, they're older or they have a disability or they're LGBTQ or their sibling sets. Um, and then we take those, those beautiful portraits and blow them up and put them in really high traffic areas like Grand Central Station with their stories. And that leads to a lot of permanent adoptions. So I volunteered and eventually started working for that organization. And the biggest joy was working with the kids, social workers. They were just rock stars. And it suddenly occurred to me that that's what I wanted to be. Um, so I went back to school and I got my master's in social work and I am now a social worker. I'm a clinical social worker. 
and I'm really proud of the work that I do. I'm also on the board of directors of the Healthcare Foundation of Northern Sonoma County. Our mission is to bring health access and health equity to all of Northern Sonoma County. So growing up in the country, I spent a lot of time playing outdoors. I also spent a lot of time just taking things apart, figuring out how they worked. And I've always had a very mechanical mind. So I uh, eventually took over as the mechanic for my family's ranch. Um, working on a small family ranch, there's always things to fix. So that's most of my day. But if a tree falls down and I have to go grab a chainsaw and a wood chipper, then that's what I do that day. <laughs> or if a truck needs to be uh, driven somewhere to pick pick up materials or I have to go trench a whole field to put in new irrigation lines, go run a trencher for a week and always something new, always something different, <laughs> always something coming through the door that needs to be taken apart. And it's not just a ranch or a vineyard. Uh, it's a home. It's a place that I'll, will always feel like home. And I can't wait to spend time Showing my child all the things that I did growing up there. Letting them explore and grow and play and run and learn in such a wonderful place. We have one great little granddaughter, four years old. She's off in Disneyland today with her parents, our middle son and his wife. And uh, looking forward to more, it really rounds out life, right? <laughs> it makes life interesting and busy and fun. It's kind of comforting to have know there's grandchildren around. <laughs> we have our granddaughter three afternoons a week, and maybe once a month she spends the night, so we see a lot of her, which is really nice. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch our video and for getting to know us a little better. Um, we really look forward to meeting you and getting to know you better. Um, I know that this is a, probably a really challenging time for you and we want you to know that we are here to support you through it and, um, and hopefully provide a loving, supportive, happy home for this child.